Hi Leo, it's Roxy. I'm here to do a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not every reading can resonate with every Leo out there, so just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Okay, <laughs> blind gang. <laughs> I want to wish you a happy 2020, a happy January, happy new year, happy everything. I'm using Steampunk Cards by John and Caitlin Matthews. I just got this deck and I'm learning it. Guess we can learn together, right, Leo? <laughs> I hope you are well. So let's see what we have for January for you, okay? A card for Leo, please. A card for Leo. Oh, too many cards. I'm going to try that again. Butterfingers over here. <laughs> Oh, that one dropped. Oh, well, these cards just want to fly. What's going on, Leo? <laughs> Your cards just want to fly out. Crazy. Let's see, they want to speak. I'm going to make them speak. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Including a lot of major arcana here. Interesting. One more card. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leo. I'm going to go card by card, okay? We have the Lady of Leviathans. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Cap. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Leo, either you are know somebody with a lot of money or you're coming into a lot of money. The fire signs are inevitable go-getters and they go after what they want. My mom is a Leo, the best woman I've ever met in my life. Takes care of everybody, nurtures, kind, sweet, everything. But don't get her upset, Leo. <laughs> don't get a Leo upset. This is either you're dealing with somebody with a lot of money or you're going to come into a lot of money. Facts. Or you might be getting a raise at your job, too, also. Okay, since it's a general, it can be any of those. Navigator of airships. Navigator of Airships is the Knight of Swords. Um, you really could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, or you're galloping in fast towards something, or somebody's galloping towards you. Knight of Swords is one of the fastest knights in the deck of Tarot. And this person is blunt. They're very straightforward. Or you're taking on the energy of in January of being very blunt and straightforward. Okay, that could be with your partner, a job, etc. Right? It all depends. Five of submersibles. This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, this is a five of cups. Is the I'm sad and depressed over something that happened, Leo. So this could be you, or it could be something you're dealing with in your life, or somebody you're dealing with. Okay? It could be at your job, or it could be your relationship. Or what? Something rubbed you the wrong way, and it's got you very emotional. Okay? Okay. Three of Engines is Aries Leo Sag. This could be you. Three of Wands. This is the, I was planning um, for something to happen in my life, and I'm kind of waiting on it to come in, waiting for, watching out the shore, watching out the ships to come in, but I planned for it, right? I made a, a step towards it in my life, right? Making a move towards it. Or somebody could be feeling that about you, or you could be t t dealing with uh, two jobs, and you have to choose one also, right? But this is definitely acting on a plan you've made. Okay. Okay. The comet, the major arcana, it's also known as the star. You could have Aquarius in your chart, or you're dealing with an Aquarius, relationship wise, job wise, it doesn't matter. Or someone sees you as a star at your job, it could be your boss, right? They see you as the number one worker. It could be that also. Or you may want to choose stardom. That could be it also. You want to be a star, you want to be up on stage. Right? It could be any of those things. Okay. The Aviatrix. Interesting. Major Arcana, again. This is a High Priestess in a regular tower. Regular wide awake deck. High Priestess. You have to use your intuition with a certain situation, with a certain person, or, or in your life in general. Okay? Always follow your gut, Leo. 
High Priestess is the intuitive, right? I come up a lot as a High Priestess. I'm a Pisces, though. I'm a Pisces sun, but I'm a Leo rising. Use your intuition with whatever you're dealing with this month. It'll never steer you wrong, okay? Okay. We got the Navigator of Leviathans, also known as the Knight of Pentacles. And this is a human being, a knight, with the coming of the very small offer and it's taking forever. It could be in money or it could be in a relationship. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also a Leo, right? If you're not, you might have it in your chart also. But it's like you want something to come in and it's taking forever. It's like dragging its feet or a human. It could be a human being too. And you're, you're like, the fire signs, <laughs> I'm not, not patient people. Trust me, I'm surrounded by them. And it's like, can you stop dragging your feet already? Exactly. Okay. The explorers also known as the lovers. It's either you're dealing with a twin flame, you're dealing with a soulmate, or you're dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Now, this person is your, you think this person is your end all. This person is your true love. This is, this is it, the one, you know, quote unquote. Either they're in your life or they're about to come into your life, okay? And the lovers also is a choice. You might have a choice between two people, okay? Eight of submersibles, eight of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a war sign or you're taking on the, I've got to walk away from somebody or somebody's BS right now. It could be either or. But more I feel, Leo, you bounce from somebody and they're PO'd about it. That's the, as an empathic, that's what I'm feeling in this card. Okay. I don't know if it resonates or not. Two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. This is another earth sign. Two of Leviathans is a two of pentacles. It's the, I'm juggling. You could be juggling two people. One person could be juggling you and somebody else. Or you could be juggling or multitasking at work, right? Or your, your boss could be having you multitask and have you doing a million things. And you're like, what the hell? <laughs> it could be any of those things, okay? Nine of Engines, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. This is you. You're highly defensive against someone. This is like the wounded warrior. If the regular tarot deck, it's a guy with like a bandage on his head and like, you know, nine staffs around him, nine wands. You feel highly, highly defensive and guarded against somebody. Okay. It could be another fire sign. It doesn't have, it have to be. It can be any sign. But you're just like, nope, ain't dealing with you no more. Nine of Submersibles. In January, you're going to be very happy about something that happens to you. It's Nine of Cups. It's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. It's water. It's emotional. It's happiness. Um, it's total bliss. Okay, Leo? So something's going to make you extremely happy. All right? And the last card on the bottom of the deck for your overall read is the Spring Heel Jack. In regular tarot, it's the Death card. You want death. You want a huge change. All right. It's not actual death. It's a change. And it's like something has been dragging so long in your life, Leo, and you've been suffering with it. And you're like, that's got to go. It's got to change. And like now. All right. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Right? Or you have Scorpio in your chart. Okay. But change is coming. It's inevitable now. Okay, Leo. Leo, thank you so much. For watching my videos happy new year happy january if you're so inclined and want a reading with me all my information will be down in the description box i'm sending you love <laughs> peace blessings kisses bye leo